Sup guys, Flaxboy here! As an editor myself, I'm constantly getting questions on why people can't make smooth over smooths or why they can't see from their teammates' perspectives. And there also seems to be a lot of confusion when it comes to the demos themselves. I've stumbled across people trying to send me pre-recorded videos of their frags, unaware that you can just send the demo. Not just the demo link from Steam, but the actual demo file itself. Most editors prefer to have the actual demo file in order to freely move it around through folders or just modify it through cinematic programs, etc. So today I'm making this video to clear things up. In this video I will teach you all the difference between GoTV and PUV demos more in depth. So let's just dive right into it. I like to record my matches in both GoTV and PUV demos simply because each demo type have their own positive side to them. GoTV demos are much easier to edit, while PV demos just honestly looks a lot more badass when it comes to frag movies and most edits. Here you can see how the two different demos will look while played up. To begin with, you can look at it like this. Picture yourself at a football game, right? There will be a bunch of TV cameras all over the stadium recording all the players from many different angles. Maybe there is even a helicopter recording all the players from above. You could see this like an equivalence to a GoTV demo. In a GoTV demo, you can see from all other players' perspectives and move around freely in third person mode or in free cam as some people might call it as well. The demo will be played up at 16 ticks per second and is not presenting the actual mouse movement in game as good as a POV demo. To retrieve a GoTV demo from, let's say, a matchmaking match, all you have to do is go to the menu, click watch, go to your matches, right click and click download. The demo will start downloading and will eventually, once finished downloading, appear in the downloaded tab. But where did the actual demo file go? All demos that you download from here will appear in the same place, inside the CSGO folder. This folder can be located here. And if you still have problems finding the location, follow my lead. First of all, you need to know where your Steam folder is located. I know mine is located in the local disk D drive. Then you click on Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and then Replays. Here's where all your downloaded Go CV demos will appear after a matchmaking match. Just drag this to the desktop and upload to any file hosting service of your choice. Once an editor asks for your demo, this is the type of file that he wants you to send him. Also make sure to rename the demo as it gets a lot easier for the editor to know when your action is taking place. If you're playing on a server which is not a matchmaking server, most websites have demo archives or an official match page where the demo can be downloaded. But now let's head back to the football stadium. This time, we'll let each and every player have their own GoPro camera on top of their heads. The footage of a camera like this could be seen as an equivalence to a POV demo. POV stands for point of view, and is exactly what it stands for, one point of view. In POV demos, you can only watch from one player's perspective and cannot move around freely in third person mode unless you actually know how to make POV smooths with the demo UI. POV demos are played up at the same ticks per second as the server's tick rate. So let's say you just played a matchmaking match at a 64 tick server, then your POV demo will be in 64 ticks per second. This type of demo will much better present the actual in-game mouse movement. However, these demos sometimes tend to appear laggy or jumpy, and as far as I know, there's no real fix to this. POV demos are recorded from the console with the command record space demo name. Once you're done recording, simply open the console again, type and enter stop. And if you don't have the console, Go to your games library in Steam, right click on CSGO, click properties, set launch options, and type console. Once you get into CSGO, go to game settings. First, change enable developer console to yes, and then head over to your keyboard and mouse settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom and set a key to open up the console, and you're all set. Now, these types of demos will appear in your CSGO folder, which is one folder above your GoTV demo directory. To get to this location, follow the path shown on screen right now, or simply just follow my lead. It's pretty much the same path as before, just that we stop at the CSGO folder. So I hope this tutorial helps you in some kind of way, whether you're actually an editor yourself, or if you're just new to the game and wanted to know how to play back your own or your friend's previously played matches. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you still have questions, let me know in the comments and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Flexboy out.